Welcome to episode 1 of this Houdini Vex series. More help videos as well. The first episode Vex is different depending on the context you're using it in path and binary data. Also to mention members that type is only necessary when creating them. Now it needs to be in this in this parenthesis and divided by a comma. Always take a look at the data. Here you can set ranges and default values. They are coming out a little bit. Now we have our scatter node and we can adjust the scatter and it should work procedurally. Take more points so it will be faster. Now the, the attribute, the direction attribute, knows where the gradient is going. If we change the, um, if we change the gradient, it also knows where the gradient is going. Now and set the height. Now you can see every mean that the XYZ function can give you a specific. You can see that it will run over our curve with our head. You can see that each of these spheres, none of, none of them is now each point is sticking to the surface with the right calculate width. And finally we will use PCNum found to get the number of points found in a point cloud. And now in a while loop, so the PC iterate in order to go over each point then you can see that now it will search even more points and look for the brightest one and connect to that. This us the number of points in there. So if we now fit this value and let's visualize per parentheses and write your comments in there. Let's jump into Dini and write our first function. And you can see that we can take the radius and maybe the number of points per circle. 